guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am showing you how I contour and highlight with cream and powder products and just how I do my base. If you want to know how I highlight and contour my face, then just keep on watching. As you can see, I look extremely pale and I use my Stay Naked foundation as my base. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with how I contour and like highlight my face. To highlight my face, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Light 16. Now, with my concealers, in order to highlight, I do go one or two shades lighter. So I am highlighting. So the first thing, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this concealer, put it underneath my eyes kind of like in a triangle. I know a lot of people go like ham with their concealer and do like a whole triangle. I don't do that because I feel like it can look a little bit heavy. I put a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and then a little bit on my chin. The point of contouring, you want to bring a little bit of shadow to your face so that your face looks a little bit slimmer. So I'm going to take this cream shade. I'm not sure where this is from, but as you can see, it's a little bit ashy. Now, obviously, it looks extremely, extremely uh, pigmented here, but obviously when we blend it out, it's going to look a little bit better. And I'm going to be grabbing a... This is the this is a Beauty Creations brush and it's kind of like a synthetic brush. With this brush, I'm just gonna tap a little bit. I'm not grabbing a lot of product. Remember, with cream uh, products, you want a little bit. And for contouring, what you want to do is, if you can see, if I'm looking straight, you can kind of see a shadow right here, and that is where you want to contour because you want to make your face look slimmer. So that is exactly where I'm gonna place this. And I'm not dragging it all the way down here. I'm just grabbing it and putting it a little bit on my hairline and just dabbing it like that. Put a little bit on your temples right here. Again, not using a lot of product. And then I usually just go in with my brush and start melting this into the skin. We're not dragging the product, we're just using circular motions and a very light pressure on it. So I'm going to go in and start blending that concealer now that we blended that contour. Like I said, we're going to go in and set everything with powder. Now that I blended everything, making sure that we don't have any harsh lines and kind of like a contour is kind of like blended into the skin and you can definitely grab a little bit of that same shade of contour again just grabbing a little bit of product and running it down your jaw and this is going to help you get rid of that double chin <laughs> if you want to cream contour what I recommend is just do, taking it a little bit in very light strokes just placing that on your nose now I don't have a wide nose I kind of have a very like slim nose so that's why I don't like go ham with my contouring on my nose so I like bringing a little bit of that contour shade on my nose so that it, everything looks very uniform and I don't have kind of like my white nose in the middle of my face. Now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and set. So we're gonna use powders now. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I like using uh, loose powders to set my under eye just because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural than if I use a compact powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye. So I'm not grabbing a lot of powder. I'm just using very light powder. This is a Morphe M554. If you want to know all my favorite holy grail brushes, I'm going to go link up here uh, my favorite brushes video. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite compact powder, which is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And this I take on a denser brush. This is a Morphe E34. And I kind of like pack my brush and I staple this on my skin. Kind of like putting a little bit of pressure, kind of like this, tapping it on my face. Make sure that your foundation or um, if your powder doesn't match you, um, make sure that you're bringing it down your neck. Obviously you never want to have that like super harsh line of your foundation. Your contour is something else but your foundation you never want to have kind of like that 
line right here that really you can tell the different color of your foundation now that my whole face is set I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face and contour I go ahead and contour my face first and I take my Hoola by Benefit and I'm already hitting pan. This is a Morphe M523 and it's a very dense brush but I feel like it is the perfect size to go in and bro uh, bronze to contour your um, face so again, with your contour, you don't want to bring it really, really low because it's going to tend to look a little bit muddy. So I just literally just take it kind of like um, by the end of my eye. That's how far I would take my contour. And again, trying to find that natural shadow that we have. And it is right underneath your cheekbone. So there is kind of like a hole in between and you can actually feel it. You can grab a brush and actually measure kind of like where um, the top of your ear is and the end of your mouth that's actually another trick that you can use as to where you're supposed to contour so then I bring it up on my temples which is kind of like at the arch of my eyebrows and I love I know that looks this kind of looks a little bit harsh but I'm gonna go in with my powder brush and blend that in I just take my powder brush and I kind of like blend this a little bit you can definitely buy, um, you can definitely grab a like dual fiber brush let me see if I have my here you can definitely get this one this is a Morphe F50 and it's perfect to just blend everything actually this brush I got it years and years ago because of Nicole Guerrero she loved or she would rave about this brush and it was one of the brushes that first brushes that I bought from Sigma and it's, it's an amazing like uh, blending brush now that I have that I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face which is kind of like my favorite thing because right now I look highlighted and I kind of have like a shape to my face but I feel like I don't have enough color I don't I, I don't know I feel like I look still a little bit pale this is a mineralized skin finish natural powder from Mac and I have it in the shade uh, dark and it kind of looks a little bit orange on camera, but it, I, I feel like it just gives you like enough like bronzy look that you need. I don't know, it gives you like so much color and you look, ah, look ah. and I feel like it gives you like the perfect amount of color to your face. I'm going to go ahead and put on my blush and my highlight, not that we're here, you know. So for blush, I'm going to take the Cover Tone by MAC. And this is a Beauty Creations RC07. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm gonna change it up a bit for my highlight for today. I'm gonna use, this is the Too Faced uh, Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in Blended by, or yeah, blend, Blinded, Blinded by the Light, which is one of my favorite highlights. And I'm just gonna place this on the high points of my face as well. So that would be on top of my cheekbones right here you can grab a little bit and put it on the arch kind of like on top of that contour and shadowing that we did on our temples right here and then again on your cheekbones put a little bit on your nose if you want bridge over your nose and a little bit on your chin I actually just recently started doing that and I really like how it looks. So that is it for how I contour and highlight my face. If you did enjoy this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. All the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video.